Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get your Disclosure and Barren Service Certificate in the United Kingdom. So it's also known as DBS Certificate and it can either be basic or enhanced. So for you to work in some jobs in the United Kingdom, jobs that involves working with the vulnerable, say the children, the adults, people with special needs, you will usually need a DBS certificate. And this certificate basically shows that it is safe for you to work with people with vulnerabilities or special needs. So if this is what you are interested in, keep watching. And in this video also, I'm going to be sharing with you the cost, how long it's going to take and how to update it, if you ever need to update it and things like that. Make sure that you stick to the very end, like this video, leave me comments below, share this video with your friends. And I'm also going to be leaving the links that I'm going to be mentioning and showing you from the website site in the description box below so make sure that you check it out so right now i am on the gov.uk website and as you can see it's called criminal records check when you apply for a role so when you go through this page which i'm going to be linking in the description box below so you can check it out it tells it gives you more information about what the dbs is who can check your criminal record the types of check like i said earlier there is a basic check so there's a basic there's a standard check there's an enhanced check and there's an enhanced check with bad list and you can also check your own record so your employer can ask you to request for your own basic check so if you want to do a basic dbs it costs 18 pounds and when you do that then you can then show it to your employer if you are self-employed for example also you can request for a basic check for yourself and then your organization or the company you'll be working with can now request for a standard enhanced or enhanced with bad list check for you but basically if you want to check your basic dbs just click on this request your own basic check so usually your employer or the company you're working for will tell you which kind of dbs they need from you so if it is basic dbs that's what we are doing now if it's a standard dbs then there will be another link for that and then if it's an enhanced dbs there's another link for that too you can easily get to the right link by just typing it on google and putting google dot uk at the end also if you would like to like keep updating your enhanced dbs like yearly instead of you doing dbs over and over again every time i have a video for that and i'm going to be linking it somewhere here and also in the description box for you so you can check it out so now want to request a basic dbs check things that you will need are your addresses for the last five years and the dates you lived there your national insurance number your passport or your brp and also your driving license and you must be over 16 years to apply and it usually takes 14 days to receive your certificate so basically what you need to do is click on start now and it costs 18 pounds like i said so you need your credit or debit card to make payments and you can also pay using google pay or apple pay so you just click on start now and then you accept that you've read and understood the basic dbs check online application which you can click here and open it and read and then you click on continue so you'll be asked to prove your identity after you've done that then you'll be asked to provide your phone number your email address your full name your address and all that then you will be asked to pay and after payment you expect your dbs certificate in two weeks now for the other types of dbs those are the standard dbs the enhanced dbs and the enhanced dbs with the bad list you cannot do that one by yourself your employer needs to request that for you because a particular employer did it for you if you are trying to work with agencies or you want to work with another company you know within the same year that new employer needs to request for another one because they likely won't accept the one that has been done by another company so this means that you keep paying for your dbs every time an employer needs to run a check on you and really it is not free employers usually don't pay it for you except they state it specifically that they are going to pay usually you are the one who is going to pay so instead of you paying different employers to check 
standard and enhanced DBS for you, what you can do is once you get your certificate from one particular employer, your DBS certificate, you need to register for an update service. And this update service means that you just keep paying um, from your own, you know, credit card or debit card from your own account yearly, 13 pounds yearly and automatically it will be renewed. So if you ever need to work with another company or somewhere else, then you don't need to request a fresh or a new DBS. They don't need to request a new DBS for you. All they need to do is to search for your DBS certificate using the unique reference number that DBS is going to give you. I made another video about that, like I said earlier, and I'm going to be putting it in the description box for you. I really hope this is helpful. Please let me know if you have any question and I'll be glad to answer it in the comments section. Please don't forget to like this video, leave me comments below, share this video and subscribe if you like my content and I'm going to see you in this other video showing on your screen.